All right, guys, got something new in the mail here. I wanted to show you uh, for all you cast net guys out there. This is the new Black Pearl net. Black Pearl's been around for a long time to make super high quality nets. If you know anything about some of my older videos with cast nets, I've used every brand there is. I have a collection like you wouldn't believe. All the big names, some of the less expensive stuff, some of the better stuff. I always gravitate towards the more expensive nets. They're just easier to handle, more supple in your hand. They last longer, they're easy to throw. And if you're a guy that incorporates a cast net into your fishing every day, you gotta have a better net, you know? Of course you can catch lots of bait with a cheap net. I do it, we've all done it. But if it's something you're doing all the time, the quality of a, of a really good, high quality, more expensive net will definitely make your life a whole lot easier. So let's take a quick look here at the Black Pearl. Uh, I did pop it out real quick to take a look at it, but I only spent about a few minutes looking at it, so I popped it back in here so you guys can see it for the first time. Full five gallon bucket. Now Black Pearl's been around a long time, man. They make some really high quality stuff. You'll see how supple it is. But the reason I went ahead and, and contacted them about this is because of the new system here on the lead lines. They call it invisible lead line internally weighted whis whisper quiet. So they call it invisible lead line. Uh, I wouldn't say it's invisible, but that's not why I got it. I really don't care if it's visible. Uh, the reason I got it is because it's then the lead hangs in in a sock all the way around, like a flexible sock, uh, almost like a chain all the way together. It's all the way linked. So when you hold your net normally, when if you have marble lead, the way the net does all this when you're holding it and you have to kind of pick it apart sometimes, this doesn't do that. Uh, it kind of does it, I guess, but it doesn't do it anywhere near. It wants to open naturally because it's a chain. So I haven't thrown it yet. And the only reason I'm doing a video, even talking about it without throwing it, is because a very good friend of mine, Sean McNew, throws the nets for a living. He nets shad and herring for a living every day. He went, he lost his mind over this net. At first, he didn't, wasn't sure if he was going to like it. He tried one sent me some stuff and sent me some videos and he just lost his mind loves it loves it loves it so that's good enough for me so I said let's get one of these suckers so it's our you know it's a great hand line hollow core so it floats good and thick it looks a little large because it's hollow core most of the high quality nets will come with one like this nice segregated horn keeps your braille lines separated I like it better than an open one an open one tends to sometimes slide your swivel down inside Double servage here over at the horn and at the lead line. And just look at that. I mean, this is a 3 8 mesh. And if you guys are uh, familiar with how your nets lay, a 3 8 mesh has a lot of mono material. So it tends to be springier. On a cheap net, it gets really, really, really springy. So if this is like an inch and a quarter mesh, it would be even smaller because there's less material. So even for a 3 8 mesh, look at that. That is silky. I mean, that is just so easy to handle. I can get my whole hand around it. Just to, it's going to be very comfortable net to throw. All right. You notice the difference in the sound there? I'm not going to slam it down, but just placing it down. Listen to that. I mean, that is just, I mean, I wouldn't drop it this high anyway, but just so you can get an idea. Let's go a little bit higher. I mean, that's just, mwah, love it. All right, so what I was talking about before, when you lift it, you see, you'll see here, it does a really nice job of wanting to just come apart. I love that. Just makes it very, you know, very handleable. It just looks so cool, just the way, the way it, if you're a triple load guy, you're gonna love loading it. I mean, it just really just flows nice, you know? I'm not a triple load guy, but, I know the methods I throw, it's just going to be just going to make my life easier. You know, throwing all day, just the slightest tangle can really set you off, you know. So, first look, it looks amazing. Uh, there's lead in there. I don't know if it's, feels like little tiny balls of lead in there. But, you know, you see the way it's all connected like that as a chain. Level selvage down here in the gold. It just feels good, you know, it just feels feels like this idea should have been launched many years ago. And I'm always looking for the latest and greatest guys. 
I tell my kids, both my kids are in, in college, and I tell them all the time, I say, whatever you do in life, for fun or you know, to make a living, whatever, whatever you do, try to improve it. Try to take it to the next step. Try to make it yours. There are so many things out there we do just to, because it's always been done that way. Well, why do we do this? Well, that's the way it's always been done. It's not good enough. I love it when companies take this and say, you know what? We've been making nets for 100 years. We're one of the biggest net makers in the world. We have a great customer base. Let's do more. Let's take it to the next level. Great net so far. I'll do some videos of us throwing it. I'm going to go ahead and throw it in the yard a little bit. Uh, this is going to be a home run. I really like it so far. Thanks to the guys at Black Pearl for sending me this net. Please subscribe if you haven't. Click the little like button. It will help me. If you have any questions about the net or the nets that I've used in the past, please put it in the comments there. And we'll do some how-tos on these and some throwing these on some bait. Check back, guys. I appreciate it. Stay safe on the water. Leave a few for me. Love you. Mean it. Okay.